say. Buzz alarm. Woo! And we're back! <laughs> What's the name of that building? Like when I drive by, I go, hey, look, it's the Darth Vader building. But it's got to have a name. Anybody? It's not the Renaissance building. That's, is that the Wells Fargo? I don't know. The yeah. Shady building. We like it. Hey! starting a long weekend. A lot of people started yesterday. No kidding. Yeah, so hopefully you're just waking up with us. Great to have you. 741's the Good time. Good morning. Welcome back. What's up, Don? Well, let, let me tell you, Mark, uh, you Mr. Movie Man. Uh, it's been a very rough six months for Hollywood. Uh, what turned out to be uh, just a string of bad movies, disappointment at the box office this year. Some had uh, worse times than others, depending on the production budgets. Now, Mark, you could help me on this. Uh, here are the worst box office flops this year where they uh, are on the wrong side of the money. Here Got we go. it. Okay. Number one on the list. You remember this movie, Your Highness? This was a movie about the weed in medieval times. Right. The, the uh, film made 21 million bucks. It cost 50 million bucks. Daniel McBride. Oh, Daniel McBride. Natalie Portman was, was uh, actually with child while she was making this movie. Here's another one, number two, this awful movie, Arthur. Oh, why did they ever do this? The production budget was 40 million bucks. Ouch. Movie made about 33 million. Then you've got Boom. Green Lanterns on the list. Green Lantern cost, what, uh, at least $200 million to produce. They say that worldwide it might make $250 million, but that's a lot of Europeans who don't know that this is just a bad, bad movie. Number four, Sucker Punch. Now, what is the movie Sucker Punch, Mark? I've never even heard of this movie. Is this the one with the the the, the superheroes? Oh, there you go. No, it's, no? It's, it's, Sucker Punch. It's these girls, right? Sucker here. Punch was great. It was very much like uh, 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 Robert Others? Rodriguez. Um, Sin City. Who else? It was very much like Sin City. Sucker Punch was well, very much like that. But cost like ninety million. Made a lot less than that. But but this is my favorite of, of the year that's come out thus far. The Beaver with Mel Gibson. Please, I'll wait for your emails on that. That grossed less than one million bucks, and it cost twenty million. Remember that? He was a guy that lost his mind and walked around with a beaver puppet, and Jodie Foster was, was his, his co-star? Tina McCool went to go see it, and uh, she came back kind of shell-shocked by it, because you think, <laughs> oh, it's Mel Gibson with a puppet. It's going to be funny, right? <laughs> not, not, not so, so much. much. Depressing. So really kind of those are the, five, the five worst this year that have come out. But we also, I have to say, what's up to Greta Gerwig and her family? The co-star of Arthur lives right here in Sacramento. Uh, well, then. Blame it on Russell Brand. It wasn't her fault. <laughs> Truth hurts. Sorry. Hey, she was great. Can we talk about the worst summer movies of all time? Ever? Sure. Yeah, go. I mean, I, I've got it on my PC right now. Who can forget Waterworld? I mean, really. With Kevin Costner. Forgettable, really. You know, I don't even wolves. remember it. It was kind of like Dances with Wolves, only on jet skis. Wow. Well, now you're just being uh, unintentionally cruel because there's a young man who works <laughs> back in, in our production department, Jeff Coat, and he happens to love the movie Waterworld. <laughs> exactly. I had to point that out because he loves it. Who loves Waterworld? <laughs> Brian <laughs> Jeffcoat does. <laughs> Brian Jeffcoat, you've been busted. You like Waterworld. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, what right. is your favorite movie so far of the summer? If we like the halftime, you know, July 4th weekend is mm. sort of the half summer halftime moment. It's probably not the hippest choice. I really like The Hangover too. I liked it. I did I too. enjoyed it. I, everybody tells me it's not as good as the first one. I agree, but if you wait to the very end of Hangover 2 where the pictures come up, especially with the dancer, yeah. forget about it. That's the movie <laughs> I've laughed at the most this year. Exactly. The, uh, the, the dancers, the entertainment girls, that's probably, if you're looking for a celebrity cameo, no surprise that's your celebrity so that would be my favorite tv's marcus allen movies marcus allen yeah, yeah, yeah. there you go thank you, you. <laughs> all right